Neighbors tell me they heard multiple gunshots that left one man dead here in the middle of the street Monday night. Today, that victim's widow says she's struggling to make sense of the killing. Just before 11 o'clock Monday night, here on West 34th Place, police were called after a 56-year-old man was shot to death. They just said that he was on, uh, outside of his car and someone snuck up behind him and shot him multiple times. Faith Cade spoke to her husband, Barry Cade, just a few hours before he was killed. He said he was on his way home because he had to work in the morning. And that was it. You know, I just keep saying, I want him home, I want him home, I want him home. Faith insists she doesn't know who would want to kill her husband or why. The only thing I can think of is he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's the only thing I can see, because I can't see anything more than that. Just three hours later, police were called to Community East Hospital for a second homicide after a 19-year-old showed up with a gunshot wound and died a short time later. Police are still investigating if that death is connected to a shots fired call on Holloway Avenue, where a cluster of crime scene markers spanned several homes on Tuesday. Any one of these incidents is, is a tragedy. It's difficult for the families. While the two homicides aren't connected in any way, Lieutenant Shane Foley encourages witnesses in both cases to speak up. It's still early in those investigations. Uh, as we've talked about before, we've seen a lot of successes. When people come forward, when they share information. I want, I want them caught. I want them held accountable. I want, I, I want them to suffer. I want them to hurt just like I'm hurt. Again, because no arrests have been made in either one of the overnight homicides, anyone with information on those cases is still asked to contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS4 News. Jesse, thank you. Police